and here we go again. Today I'd like to answer a question again that I was asked during the last month and the question this time was how do I transfer this handbook for a board game which is 15 pages long how can I create this physical book as an online document and I said well the simplest thing is OCR optical character recognition um, the person I was chatting to had never even heard of it so uh, I looked online and found this program called free OCR very simple to use very easy to use and uh, it's the sort of thing you can use leave it on the computer and just use it when you need to right as we can see it's very simple we can scan we can open we can open a PDF we can save a JPEG or we can optically character recognize the words and all the rest of it <coughs> so we're going to do the scanning part obviously you need to have a scanner attached to your computer and usually twain compliant uh, helps but this is it so we have that um, I'm going to just first read the uh, the notes that here for best results set your scanner to 300 dpi 200 dpi that's dots per inch as a minimum setting to achieve acceptable results so I've set mine to 300 which usually comes as 300 as default and okay we've read all that lot we know exactly what you're doing clear that page and we shall scan now when we bring up the scan page it asks us to scan a device and it has to be Twain compliant um, it has to meet one or two parameters most scanners will fit the, that um, that that scenario um, but color mode will be black and white uh, we can do grayscale or color but I can't see the point it's a black and white document we'll keep it black and white uh, paper source is flatbed and ie it's a flatbed scanner built into a printer and also it's page 4 size set up in the um, the properties of the printer so there we are we'll just bump there we go we can scan it takes only a minute to get this done I have to say there's 15 pages I'm just doing the one of them for now page 10 I believe it's set on we will find out in a moment jobs almost done there it is it's done as you can see it's um, it's quite a good uh, s scan it's nice and clear a um, bit questionable about all these marks down the side which we could if we want get rid of and the way we would do that and I shall show you very quickly is we'll save it uh, to the desktop and we'll save it as um, I'll put book scan simple keep it simple and just reduce that or even close it um, open that up because it, it is a picture it's a JPEG and if we click the eraser and make the eraser a little bit bigger than default uh, ba -ba -ba and right size 32 I'll make that 70 or 80 and all I'm going to do is just erase all this rubbish from down the side uh, that's not part of the print it's just literally marks where the bit of damage to the book but it's picked it up okay so now we can save that wherever we save it there we are save close my paint shop and call up the OCR again this time I'm gonna just get rid of that and open a JPEG which is gonna be image one no no not image one don't want image one. Well, it's pretty. Would be nice-looking flower. Um, book scan. That's what we called it. There we are. And as you see, it's a lot cleaner down the side. It's not perfect, but you know, if you want perfection, you need to spend a little time on it. So we can do OCR now. Current page only takes a few seconds. Not mi not a minute, and I'm not exaggerating. There we are. It's done. Before I've had a chance to explain, it is done and it's got page 10 at the bottom and it's got notes on cards at the top so what can we do in here not a lot so we can just highlight the whole lot and copy and with it we shall pop into another program this is called able word a b l e word and i'll show you how to get all these in a moment or two we paste it into there and there is our our scan now we can 
change the notes we can make that bold move it to the center everything that you'd normally do in a word document move it to the center make it bold I don't know where the E came from I think that's probably a one of those little marks down the side of the page which has been accepted as a word so you do need to go through all the document and just make sure it hasn't picked up little uh, peculiarities like that hazards we can do any more here treasure cards that's another one we could put to the center and make bold and that's the way we go through the whole document as you can see it's that we've spent maybe less than five minutes uh, scanning OCR and putting it into a word document so that we can print it so now what I'm going to do just very simply just save it as um, untitled doc will do because I won't have any others there we go so how do I get all these programs free of charge and and dead easy to look for well first of all do a search for uh, free OCR but let me just take you to the website first which is this one it's called the the website I'm going to is www.paperfile.net and then we go to um, downloads and in the downloads page we will find download for free which will do there it is that's the one I did earlier just in blue Peter blue Peter fashion did one earlier so there we are. I can save that which I won't do at the moment but as I clicked on download it did say give me this little hint here look it's visit able word site so we click on that and sure enough we go to www.ableword.net now this little thing is uh, it's very interesting we can edit PDF files as simply as word documents we can load in docs and docx which is the uh, Microsoft version and I think a lot of the free sites use docx we can load in Adobe PDFs, we can do rich text, we can do plain text, and we can also do HTML documents just by clicking on this. It's so, it's so easy. Okay, so we'll take a closer look at this. Let me go to the downloads, and that's the system requirements there. We need Windows XP or greater through to Windows 10. We need a gigabyte of memory to work it. We need 20 megabyte of data for the uh, on the disk side, so it's a small program by comparison and net framework 2 or higher so latest release is um, March the 9th 2015 so download here and a simple click will download the program I've looked through the terms and conditions and everything there's nothing untoward it's just straightforward uh, you have it for nothing use it freely and um, unfortunately it's at your own risk so if something goes wrong don't blame the writer of the program it's your fault uh, and it also has how to uninstall and it actually give you hints and tips on how to uninstall it should you wish to do so now I thought well have a look at it which I did and I actually like it quite a lot and I may, it may actually replace my standard word document reader because it's so so easy and such small footprint as well so there we are that's two programs I can close that now we've finished with the OCR but there they are that's the that's the uh, picture I took using OCR uh, scanner and also the untitled document which uh, will open in Word and there it is quite it's quite good quality I think you do have to uh, you do have to read through and make sure it hasn't picked up any errors and all that sort of thing view we can uh, zoom uh, let's go to 200 percent okay there we are but you need to go through and read every line because it could have picked up some of them scribbles at the side and made them into words which you don't want um, and there we go this uh, Medusa and something or other we need to check out what that is and correct that text I don't know what it is but there we go if you can hear a cat meowing in the background that's because I've got a cat meowing in the background I think he wants to uh, he wants to do something like eat that's his normal excuse it's food time and he wants to eat and he just makes that noise until he just gets gets his food anyway there we go do you want to make save changes yes might as well there we are so there we are that's two programs for you um, one is called free OCR and I'll put the uh, website addresses up in a moment and the other one is able word a b l e word and I'll put the address as <laughs> the cat is going mad forgive me um, I think you just in, in 
the space of two meows, it got to the top of the stairs and back down again. Never mind. So, yeah, those are I'll put the addresses for those at the end of this demonstration, which is now the end of the demonstration. If you enjoyed this, please then subscribe to my channel, Howard L. Hall, on YouTube. And if you like it, give me the thumbs up. And, of course, if you have any comments, please feel free to give a comment. I'll always try to reply in some form or other to your comments, so uh, they're not in vain and they're not wasted space. Thank you very much, and bye for now.